day six. Oh my god, it's already day six. Out of a hundred days of meditation. Oh my god, it was amazing. It's very cold today. Um, but it was beautiful. It was. I had many moments of such stillness that I was blown away. Like when I was taken out of that moment by something, but whatever. I was like, wow, that felt amazing. That was incredible. And it was really cool. I didn't notice many times that my shoulders were tense. Like for some reason, when I come back to being aware of my body and, and, and trying to relax my body a little more, the first thing that comes down is my shoulders. And it was it's interesting. I've always noticed that with meditation that my shoulder area is the first area that gets tight or or yeah a little tight and but it was very very relaxing and blissful and there was something that i wanted to share with you again one of the many reasons why i want to inspire you to meditate and to sit with yourself by yourself in silence is because eventually you're going to be aware of what you really want. And I mean what you really, really, truly want for yourself. Not to impress other people. Not because you think it's what you should do. Not, be, not because it's what your parents have told you that you should do. Or what you feel. quote unquote obligated to do or that kind of stuff what you truly truly want to do in your life that I believe comes up in moments of stillness and different moments too but we need that we need that and then eventually if you keep meditating also the fears that might keep you away from pursuing that dream will come up and it's a chance to be with them face them welcome them accept them appreciate them love that and love yourself as you're going through this journey and because it reminds me of a something that a guy who's very inspirational I, I really really encourage you to uh check out his youtube videos his name is preston smiles and he said something once that really just stayed with me for forever um he said that we're someday-ing our lives away. So we're someday-ing our life away. So how many of us say someday I'll start eating healthier? Someday I'll start working out. Someday I'll start writing that book. Someday I'll start making videos. Someday I'll start traveling more. Someday I'll take that leap and really pursue my passion. Someday I'll volunteer my time. Someday I'll become a big brother for a young boy that needs someone in his life. Someday I'll, I'll, I'll tell that person how much they matter to me. Someday I'll follow my heart and pursue my passion. And I think meditation can help us with stillness, can help us with making that someday a reality. To not live in that someday state, that someday place. It also reminds me of the beautiful quote by the Dalai Lama when someone asked him. And I wanted to find it, but I'm camping. I don't have service. I can't look it up on my phone or anything. But it was something like this. Someone asked him what surprises him the most about humanity or about the world. And he said something along the lines of men. Because he sacrifices his health to make money 
then he needs the money to gain back his health. And he's living as if he's never going to die and then dies having never actually really lived. So one of the things that I hope I can do with this journey, sharing this journey with you and, uh, and trying to inspire you to maybe stop someday-ing your life away. And I don't want you or me or anyone else to die without having truly lived. So if anything resonates, please give it a thumbs up. Otherwise my videos are not going to reach anyone and they're not even going to reach you eventually because of how social media works. So please share. Leave a comment below, maybe tag one or two people, send it to one or two people that might want to be a part of this journey, that might want to see where this goes, and want to join us in this adventure. I really hope that helps. Thank you, Preston, for your amazing work. Thank you, Tui, Dalai Lama, and thank you for watching. Have an amazing, amazing day.